welcome to this short video for reflexology for colds. We're going to start with a mother earth hold. So you're going to gently cup your baby's heels in your hands and apply a gentle constant pressure around the bottommost part of their heels and up the sides. This gives a sense of grounding, a feeling of safety and comfort and immediately starts to calm your baby into a restful relaxation. And then onto a technique called press for calm. And we can do this by finding the solar plexus point just underneath the balls of the feet. So if you slide your thumbs from the base of the toes down towards the balls of the feet, they'll just naturally find this nice little dip to rest in. So you can have a gentle press and hold of these points, which will help to calm and soothe your baby. The solar plexus is a huge network of nerves, so bringing balance to this area will start to release tension from the nervous system. You can have a couple of nice, easy, deep breaths whilst you're holding these points. We're now going to focus a little bit on your baby's toes as they relate to the head, brain, face, sinuses, ears and eyes, which can all be affected by coldy symptoms. I'm gonna show you a reflexology technique called the caterpillar walk. So you can try this on your own hand. So take your thumb and imagine that it is a little caterpillar walking across your hand. And this technique is used in reflexology to ensure that all surfaces of the area that you're focusing on in terms of points are covered. So we can put this into practice on your baby's toes. So you can start on your baby's big toe and you can try this caterpillar walk. So walking up the back of your baby's big toe, sliding down the front and then making a little circle around the tip. And then moving on to the next toe, so caterpillar walk up, slide down, and a little circle around the tip. Carry on. Caterpillar walk up, slide, circle around the tip. Little toe. Over to the other foot, starting on that big toe. Caterpillar walk up, slide, and a little circle around the tip. So the tips relate to the brain, so this is very soothing, circling around. If the caterpillar walk is too tricky, you can always just have a slide up the back and down the front. Their little toes are so tiny it can be hard to get in there so a slide is fine too. And then to continue working on the toes we can give each toe a lovely roll and a squeeze between your thumb and your forefinger. So we can start on the big toe and give it a lovely roll and a little squeeze at the end. So a lovely squeeze into the fleshy pad of each toe. And those areas in the fleshy pads of each toe relate to the sinuses. So great to work on if your baby has a cold. So a little roll and a squeeze. and then we're going to make some clear skies. So this one works on the chest, the ears and the eyes. So you can take both your baby's feet and just under the little toes are the points for the ears, which also can be really affected with a cold. So you can have a little hold and a little press in here, just underneath the pads of the toes, 
and then you can slide all the way underneath those toes until you get to the big toe. These points relate to the chest and the ears and the eyes. So you can do around five or six of these slides. And interestingly, if your baby has a cold, these areas we're working on here and the fleshy pads of the toes for the sinus points can show up a little bit red and puffy. So have a look out for that and let me know if you, if you can spot that. So the feet really, really show us lots of interesting things if you look closely and know what to look for. Okay, so we're going to make some train tracks. So one foot with your thumbs, one thumb after the other. So very stimulating for the uh, lymphatic system for eliminating the body's own waste. And over to the other foot. Just got one thumb after the other, working up towards the ankle. We can have a little gentle press with our thumbs all over the sole of the foot, just gently, just stimulating all the areas, getting the blood flowing, the lymphatic system moving, and any stagnation moving and flowing. Over to the other foot. Same thing, little gentle press all over, little tip tap all over. And then to finish with your lovely Mother Earth hold, so cupping both your baby's feet into your hands and making that constant pressure on the bottommost part of their heels and up the sides. This is like a warm embrace for their whole body and all their bodily systems. And you can send your intention for them to get really very much better soon with all of this amazing love and care. It's lovely to put some little socks on them or pop their feet back into their body suits afterwards to keep the warmth in. And I really hope this little sequence helps to calm and soothe and relieve your baby's coldy symptoms and I hope it helps you to feel more empowered to feel like you've done something really practical and really loving to help your baby. If you have any questions or queries please get in touch, I would love to know how you're getting on.